It's still plus politics now. Thugs loaded in five buses reportedly attacked members of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, in Itaji Ekiti and Oye Ekiti, in all Oye local government areas of Ekiti State. During the incident, the political thugs were said to shoot indiscriminately at campaign rally venue, uh, the campaign rally venue of the SDP. The director of media and publicity of Shegwoni campaign organization, Jackson Adebayo, made the claim in a statement made available to journalists. Adebayo narrated that the thugs began to shoot when the SDP governorship candidate, Shagwoni, was addressing SDP members and supporters in Itaji town. He noted that three SDP members were shot and terribly wounded in Itaji, but one of the thugs was arrested by the party supporter who handed them over to the police. One thug confessed that they had been sent at Oye, Adebayo alleged that the attackers shot three members of the SDP waiting for the arrival of Oni, who was due to address the party supporters in the town. Was joining us to discuss this and shed more light is Lanre Ogunsuyi. He is the media director of Shegwoni campaign organization. Mr. Ogunsuyi, it's so good to have you join us. Good evening and good evening viewers at home. It's nice to be here. Great. Although on a sad commentary, yeah. Mm. The last time you and I had a conversation, we were talking about the fact that um, Mr. Oni had left to join the SDP and his reasons for joining the SDP. Um, but there seems to be a lot happening around Mr. Oni, and I, I really want to hear from you firsthand. Why do you think that your principal is being targeted or his party members are being targeted? Yeah, there's no rational... Good evening once again. Good evening. Uh, there is no rational explanation for violence. But there are human beings who believe that when they are at their wit's end, they resort to wild, irrational, illogical actions, which sometimes borders on violence. Mr. Shegmoni is being targeted because of his acceptability by the people of the state. And don't let this surprise you. When you have a politician whose posters are being torn in town, it is because people are noticing those posters, they are reacting to those posters positively. If they know that you have no chance in an election, anywhere you put your posters, it will be safe. And that is the same thing that is happening everywhere we go. We are surprised by the magnitude of support, by the genuineness of affection shown by all, and the attestation to the good works he did just in three months and three years and 10 months. For example, you get to a place you want to campaign, and people will say, don't bother to campaign. That road that you are standing on that you passed to this place was done by Mr. Shegmoni. You will see some 20, 18, 19 people. And you say, <coughs> come and vote for Shegmoni. They say, don't bother. We were fed in primary schools with egg and tea during his regime. So it became a headache <coughs> for the two other parties who were hitherto at head, uh, you know, APC and PDP, were at each other's throats, until Mr. Shegmoni sh shot in front. And then the two of them started attacking him from the rear. I'm trying For to understand, are, are, are you insinuating, I'm sorry to speak over you, are you insinuating that the PDP and the APC are responsible for the attacks uh, against the SDP and the, your that principal. Is not the first at, that is not the first attack. Really? Yes, in their form. The youth leader of uh, APC, no, I think, yes, of APC, shot at us. Several gunshots. We had to hurriedly leave that town. Because the Alba of F1, we were in his palace, and the Alba said, 
there is no reason why we will not support you because of all the good works. I don't want to mention it here that you have done. And when we were leaving the place, the campaign had already closed and they started shooting. We identified him as the youth leader of APC in that local government. The people in the local government know him and we reported to the police. The police claim they cannot get him. So he remained unarrested. Huh. In Ikara Ikiti, just as Mr. Shegoni was leaving the palace of Olukere, we had to advise him that once you get out, get into your vehicle and zoom off. And they started throwing stones at his vehicle. Everyone that has listened to Mr. Shegoni, both on national debate in real life, knows that Mr. Shegoni is a peace-loving human being. In fact, he is referred to in a kitty as Dejo, meaning somebody who is not, uh, is, 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 is unfazed. He's, he doesn't steal money, he doesn't cut power, he doesn't, he's, he's just an easygoing gentleman. He's, so they say he's dead, yo. he doesn't know how to go and hire thugs to shoot guns. Even some of our supporters are saying, you have to protect us. Violence merchants are all over the place. The cost of violence is cheap, but the effect of it is, is horrendous. So it will not go the way of violence. We've kept on reporting to the police. And here in Itaji, what the agreement we have is that when one party is doing a rally or a meeting, they did it in Ilobo. Yes, they did it in Ilobo. Ilobo is in Idozi local government, in his own local government. The APC people went to a world meeting, dispersed them, beat everybody up, broke all the chairs in that place. So the, I'm curious, the, the uh, violence uh, as, has, much as, as much as I was not there, I'd really like to be clear because these are allegations. When you say the APC members, were they identified? Was the identity given yes, to the police? Yes, yes. Because you when know, you say APC members came and them. beat up your members and dispersed it their is, meetings. It, yes, it is easy to identify them because it is the natives they use. They pump them with... Or can, you know the way you, you can psych an idiot and he will just go to a place and start attacking people. It's in the afternoon. We saw them. We reported in the police station. We gave them names. So it's not like we, each time it happens, we go to the police station to, to report. Even the people that shot at us at Itaji, who fell off a moving bus, we still arrested him. Instead of lynching him, we still gave him to the police. Because we are people who are, we are even surprised at the reception it is people are giving us. So we don't want to spoil that. We have immense goodwill. We don't want to squander it. And everywhere we go, they just make it an object of target. So they came. What is an APC lorry load of talks doing in a PDP meeting, in an SDP meeting? If you have an SDP meeting, why don't you? We, we, are, we were not going to sleep in Noye. We just went there for a campaign that was to last for just about 45 minutes. We were not going to sleep there. So I can't understand. I can't, I can't situate why somebody will come all the way from Ado to come and attack that meeting. I so, want to know. I want to ask you what the security situation generally is like in a kitty state, because I remember um, there has been, you know, situations where other parties were having their their uh, events and there was shooting. So I'm asking you this because I want to try to narrow down why this is, because you're telling us that this is these are your detractors. But what is the situa security situation in a kitty state generally? I mean, the elections are just in around the, the last corner. 48, in the last 48 hours, the security situation drastically changed because after Itaji, where uh, one of them fell off the vehicle and was handed over to the police, who took them to the hospital? The driver's union, who are the archet men of the APC, came out 
and protested against the, uh, I don't know what they were protesting, it's a rational protest. They blocked everywhere and they started shooting. And then one of the, and when security men came, they started attacking the security men. And now the security men, you know, of course, nobody was good. Somebody even attempted to snatch the gun of a, of a soldier. That's how mad this, I'm pumped up. In fact, they, we have an audio where somebody was saying that we went to reporting to police that can you report government to government? That when he got there, the commissioner of police said he should go away, that he has no case to answer. And that we, we, they should just wait, that they are going to kill about five people. And that once they kill five people, you will see that all the SDP members will run away. Okay. We have the audio. We are not talking about hearsay. Okay. We use technology. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are engineer Shegoni is, you know, you can't, you can't do anything these days without technology. So yeah. we track their phones and we got the audio. Okay. Is that legal, by the so, way? So, so, I, I just, so, I, so they I, were arrested. So they were arrested yesterday. Some people were arrested yesterday. The the main uh, actors were arrested, and they were arrested with firearms, with a lot of firearms. We are talking of civilians. A, a special assistant to the governor of the state was arrested with firearms yesterday, and they were taken to Abuja. And as we speak, the governor is pulling all strings. To ensure that they are released. I want to I, I, I want to quickly ask this question before we wrap up because we don't have too much time. With just a few days to the elections, it's June eighteenth. Um, the governorship elections is happening soon, and you're painting a terrible picture of how insecure and how unsafe the state is. Uh, how do you even expect voters to turn up? En masse to vote if this is the security situation in the state. Again, should this not be a matter that all the governorship aspirants across the political parties should be having a conversation on, especially with the governor of the state? Because if, I'm, I'm, again, how safe will a voter feel to go out and vote if this is what the situation of things are? Especially because your principal is also running to be governor of the state. Yeah. That should be his priority, let, let, shouldn't let, it? Let, 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 let me tell you this. There is a conversation going on. The we of Adwek, the, the permanent ruler here, has asked all the actors to come to his palace today for a peace meeting, and I think an agreement was reached that nobody... And but let, let me say this about... Uh, let me say this about uh, violent mushrooms. They are like mosquitoes. If you have three mosquitoes in a room, and you can't kill them, it will look like the whole room is full of mosquitoes. Since yesterday, when the main actors were picked up, just about four of them, this state has been at peace. Mm. So we know those who are doing these things. All we, and as for the governor of the state, he has abdicated the responsibility for safety uh, of lives and property in pursuit of his uh, mirage presidential uh, stuff. So if he comes back now, and decides to ensure the safety of the state, then we will see the actions. We shouldn't be complaining to the other. We should complain to the governor, but the governor hasn't been above board. Hmm. The governor has been a, a partisan. It, should, we, it, it, it is his responsibility to ensure that there is peace in the state. But even in all of this, he has not made one single speech. About 10 people have been shot, some have died, some are dying, and the governor has said nothing. So it, was, it speaks uh, volumes for, you know, the, the, where the, 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 the whole problem is coming from. But the people will come out to vote. The people have seen that their method will fail. They have even gone to buy lorry loads of canes. They said they will distribute these canes in each town, and they will flog off the voters. But what they don't know is that the voting system has changed. You no longer can smash ballot boxes. If you drive away voters, you cannot vote because the voting system, as demonstrated by INET, requires biometrics. Okay. So if you, if you stuff the boxes, it won't count at the end of the day. And that, that's what they are seeing. And they are so worried because 
they are not prepared for this election. They had four years to be in government, to impress, and we have just four months to form a party and run an election. Why are they okay. want it? Well, Mr. Gonsui, we're hoping you know, that the security I mean, situation in Ekiti State will change Why sometime soon. a party soon? that is just four months old will be a party that has been there for donkey years and has been in government for four years at all levels? Senate, Senate reps, uh, chairman of council, well, we have assembly go. members, commissioners, they have everything. We have to go, unfortunately. But we're hoping that the security situation can be dealt with or handled before the elections because it does have a huge we role to pray, play we pray it at the end of the day. Into, we, we are holding our men, don't retaliate, don't retaliate, don't retaliate. You are in the majority. Ensure that the okay. voting is done. Don't retaliate. That's all. We just we want have to, to vote. Well, we just want to vote. Okay. And I hope that you're able to do that. Lanry Ogunsui is the media director of the Shegwoni campaign organization in Ekiti State. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Please uh, let me thank the good people of Ekiti State for standing by Shegwoni. Let me thank them for being peaceful. And let me warn the violent marshal. Some of them have just returned from prison. They are going back to prison. Okay, we have to go. Thank you so much. Well, that's the show tonight. We will be back tomorrow talking for development and plus politics. If you have missed some bits of the program, go to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle, and you can play catch up. I am Mary Anacom. See you tomorrow. Have a good evening.